Hey guys, King Adu here. I'm going to bring you a general market update. Uh, Litecoin's up 20 points right now over the last 24 hours. Ripple's hanging in there at 14 and Stellar's up 8. Ethereum Classic is having a nice bounce back and um, uh, I encourage you to take a look at Ethereum Classic if you're also in Ethereum. Um, I think that both of those in the long term, they, they, there's still a lot of use there. Um, essentially, people that are developing dApps on one can basically copy paste it to the other so there's still very uh, real value in uh, ETC for right now so take a look at that one get to know that one a little bit better uh, I, I'm not putting a lot of eggs in that basket I do it more to diversify and I'm more, mostly looking for opportunities there because um, over time I've noticed that it somewhat follows Ethereum not always but at times you start seeing some mirroring happening happening and uh, with that comes some opportunities to make some money um, just something to educate yourself on if you haven't been around this space for a while uh, you may not be familiar with ethereum classic but you really need to understand what it is um, and try to set aside uh, what happened with the fork in your mind and focus in on the technology and what it's still capable of doing because it's just, it's very impressive um, so um, Dash right now. I think Dash is a is a pretty good buy uh, right now. Um, I'm not gonna say it's great, uh, but I'd feel comfortable taking a position if you've been looking for a spot to get in at. Um, I think that with where they're going in the in the short term, their roadmap, um, with what they're trying to do to make it user friendly, uh, the reinvesting that they're doing uh, is back into marketing. Um, very very good uh, the digital governance they've proven over and over again to make really good decisions as a governing body um, to push dash forward um, it has a nice name which is important digital cash it's very important um, for adoption you know um, is my mother ever going to use this that's what I wonder um, and out of every coin that exists um, that I can kind of believe it can be something that she would at least understand maybe not purchase maybe not trade um, things like that but she would at least understand that dig what digital cash is um, essentially we've all been using digital cash uh, since the 90s and so um, this is just digital cash again but on a different currency and I just think it's something that's going to ease uh, adoption um, into this space uh, dash could actually be the coin that helps us go mainstream um, and that's what we really need in this space for you know a lot of you believe in the coins and the cryptocurrencies and the blockchains you're investing in um, you should be rooting for dash and I would say uh, uh, buying one dash is like you placing your vote on what you really believe in as a whole uh, and I, I just wanted to pass that along to you guys um, and no matter how you feel about it as an, as an investment by itself, um, you got to understand that the things that they're doing and trying to do for our community as a whole is really, really important and we should support them. Um, and, and if you don't feel like taking a position on Dash, um, you know, find other ways you can support them. There's plenty of ways you can, you can share the, share Dash with other people. Um, I think it's one of the easiest coins that if you're going to share it with somebody, you can share Dash with them, right? Because at this point, everyone knows what Bitcoin is. You know, I have coworkers. I was walking around work the other day, and uh, I heard someone make a joke about Bitcoin as if it's a complete joke and it's not real. And I was just like, you don't even know what you're talking about. And you're making some kind of joke about Bitcoin. And that's just, I think that's the general public's mindset at this point about Bitcoin. I don't know what price it has to hit for people to wake up. Would ten thousand? Would ten thousand dollars do it? You know, I think the general public would still say, "Hey, you spent ten thousand dollars on a fake coin." I don't get it. Uh, and that's just where our society's at. So you know, Dash is going to be something that's easy for the public to digest I think and for us to start spreading the word where we can say hey you know that Bitcoin thing that's worth a ton of money um, it's successful because of this 
um, and Dash potentially does it better and it's easier for you to use. Here, download this app and let me send you a dollar. You know, uh, let me send you the equivalent of a dollar and show you what that looks like. Um, and and the, something as simple as that, you know, right now, if I want to do that at work, let's be real. Right now, I can't even do that at work with the Bitcoin. You know, um, there's probably, you know, um, there's really not that many applications for any coin. I can't be like, let me teach you about cryptocurrency. Download this app. Okay, now give me this ridiculous address. Okay, great. I just sent you money to this ridiculous address. Um, and if we're talking about Bitcoin, it's going to take about an hour for the confirmations. You will finally see your money in about an hour. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Right? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Um, what does make sense is instant gratification. Um, and uh, that that's happening, and Dash is doing that. So I support them. Um, whether you have a position on it or not, that's up to you. But I think as a community, we should do a better job trying to support the concepts that they're doing because they're they're doing it. They're doing things that other coins will eventually be doing, but they're all doing it for the first time. And uh, we should give them a little bit of grace as they try things for the first time. Um, but I have high expectations for them because they've done a good job over a long time. And uh, so yeah, take a look at Dash. And um, going back to our market update real quick. Uh, the other one I wanted to look at, um, Monero's pretty much even over the last 24 hours, uh, which is pretty normal. Monero just hasn't had a lot of movement lately. It's not something that I'm really eyeing right now. Um, if we come over here, we got some more. Um, I had some uh, a comment uh, asking me to take a look at Stratus. Um, I love the concept of Stratus. And I actually have been looking for the right opportunity to get into Stratus. Um, I don't have any currently, but I'm, I like it a lot. I definitely would advise that if you're watching this, when you're done, go check out Stratus. Um, if you haven't checked out Dash, do that first. Then go check out Stratus. I really like the concept and what they're doing. They're doing a good job. Um, and I think there's a lot of long-term potential there. Um, and then the other one I want to take a look at is um, Stellar, just because it had that massive run recently. And uh, man, that has been a ride between the markets crashing and everything. But you can kind of see that um, it's actually picked up some steam again. Um, you know, even though it says it's only up 15 points, don't forget that like we had that complete disaster and just the market was shaken up so much. A lot of weak hands have been shaken out of this now, a lot. Um, and so, you know, we have some strong hands here. Maybe it shoots back up and it looks like it's trending upward. Um, I'm not advising anyone to buy it. Um, I'm just saying that's what's happening right now. So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick market update. I hope you learned something. Um, I hope you check out Dash. And uh, I hope that you um, also check out, check out Stratus. We'll be talking about more of those two coins in the future. Um, they have a lot of big um, updates coming on their roadmaps. So be, be in the know. Uh, go check it out for yourself so that you can contribute back to me. Leave me a comment about what you found, what you're learning. Um, and uh, let's keep connecting. I love the comments you guys are sending me. Um, I love that you guys are going over to Steam it and upvoting me, leaving comments there as well. Um, and I just love having conversations with you guys. So I really, really appreciate it. I'm indebted for every like, every subscribe, um, every share, every Steam upvote, um, every Reddit upvote. Wherever you're finding me, I'm really, really grateful. Um, and I honestly can't believe how many uh, people have started watching me already on this channel. Um, how many people are subscribing. That's giving me confidence to invest more time so that I get better at this, so I bring you better news, I bring you better information, I dig deeper, I go harder. So the more you support me, the more I'm going to do my best to support you back. Um, so I really appreciate it so much. Um, I thank you guys. I'm King Adu. May the Force be with you. Have a good night.